problem with Hollywood is they make shit. Unbelievable, unremarkable shit. Now, I'm not some grungy wannabe filmmaker that's searching for existentialism through a haze of bong smoke or something. No, it's easy to pick apart bad acting, short-sighted directing, and a purely moronic stringing together of words that many of the studios term as prose. No, I'm talking about the lack of realism. Realism. Not a pervasive element in today's modern American cinematic vision. Take Dog Day Afternoon, for example. Arguably Pacino's best work, short of Scarface and Godfather Part One, of course. A masterpiece of directing, easily Lamette's best. The cinematography, the acting, the screenplay, all top notch. But they didn't push the envelope. Now, what if in Dog Day? Sonny wanted to get away with it, really wanted to get away with it. What if, now this is the tricky part, what if he started killing hostages right away? No mercy, no quarter. Meet our demands are the pretty blonde and the bell bottoms gets it in the back of the head, bam, splat. What, still no bus? Come on. How many innocent victims splattered across a window would it take? to have the city reverse its policy on hostage situations. And this is 1976, there's no CNN, there's no CNBC, there's no, there's no internet. Now fast forward to today, present time, same situation. How quickly would the modern media make a frenzy over the city? In, in a matter of hours, it would be the, the biggest story from Boston to Budapest. 10 hostages die, 20, 30, relentless, bam, bim, one after another all caught in high def, computer enhanced, color corrected. You practically taste the brain matter. All for what, a bus, a plane, a couple of million dollars that's federally insured? I don't think so, but just a thought. I mean, it's not within the realm of conventional cinema, but What if? Well, there's a problem with that movie. Really? It wouldn't work. How come? Audiences love happy endings. Pacino escapes with the money. Boyfriend gets a sex change. Live happily ever after. No? No. Ah, homophobia. Bad guy can't win. It's a morality tale. One way or the other, he's got to go down. Hmm. Well, life is stranger than fiction sometimes. You know, guys, <clears throat> I got to go. Got a jet. Thanks for the coffee. Stand. Time to go to work. Coming. Move. I won't say it again. Turn the fuck around. Rescue team, let's go. Who's on the roof? 
Just listen. Each of the 22 hostages has been wrapped with 20 pounds of C4 explosives. They've also been taped with 15 pounds of stainless steel ball bearings, which makes them the world's largest walking claymore mines. They got the green light. Hey, hey, look, I got this guy on the phone over here, Joy. Get the hell off the phone. I'm done playing with this asshole. Go on. Around their necks are radio frequency electronic dog collars. Dog walks out of the yard, gets the shit shocked down. Same thing here. This bank is their yard, so don't fuck with me. Johnson, you and your partner, move up between those vehicles. Hey, stand down! Get back! Stand down! Get back! Officer, stand Johnny, down get right back. now! He's gonna shoot! He's gonna shoot! Sir, how long are you going to be in this country? One week. Are you here for business or pleasure? Hopefully both. What type of work do you do? I'm a consultant. Excuse me? Could you be careful with that, please? That's expensive equipment. It's gonna take. Oh, it's only gonna take a few minutes. Sit down, relax, and I'll be right back. A few minutes, sir. Yeah.
Better be important. Pull me out of session. Wouldn't have asked you if it wasn't, Senator. We just received a communication that Axel Torvalds was intercepted entering the continental U.S. When was this? Within the last two hours. According to my source inside the FBI, he was nabbed going through customs at LAX. Do you know he's working for us? It's unlikely, sir. It was a routine check, and Torvald just freaked out. They just got lucky. Ain't good. What do the feds know? Nothing, as of yet. He's refusing to speak English, and the Finnish consul has already contacted the State Department. So we haven't been compromised, then? I'm not sure. I I'm working on that right now, sir. You better get you real quick, sir. If someone's cocks level to wind up on the block on this one, I guarantee it won't be mine. I understand, Senator. There you go. supposed to be I'm ginger ginger where's Gilligan for someone the NSA once listed as the most dangerous hacker in America sure don't look like much surprised I know everything there is to know about you Stan What are you selling again? My employer wants to meet you. Yeah. Oh, shit. You're not too good at this golf thing, are you, Stan? You're fucking up my chi. Let me have it. Not a nice place you got here, Stan. Been here five minutes and I already feel sorry for myself. You're wasting your time. Don't even touch a computer. I go straight back to Leavenworth. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Great work, greasing pump jacks. So, uh, spoke to Holly lately? Hello. <clears throat> Alyssa. Holly, home? Stanley. Why are you calling here, huh? I just want to talk with Holly. Saturday. She's at soccer practice. You know it's illegal for you to talk to her. Don't do this, Mel. Okay? This it's not good for Holly. 
<laughs> and how would you know what is or isn't good for my daughter? You've just spent the last two years in prison. No. Stop calling me that, Stanley. Look, I just... I just want to see my baby. <sighs> well, she doesn't want to see you, Stanley. And I swear to fucking God, if you even try to contact her, I will have Larry's attorney throw you in a hole so dark and deep. It'll make Leavenworth seem like two weeks in Vegas, during which I will personally pay two ball-busting skinheads to make a playground out of your ass. Well, you can take the girl out of the trailer park, but you can't take the trailer park out of the girl. I will not let myself be manipulated by you, Stanley. Larry's her father now. Larry's a porn king of Southern California. Larry is a film financier. What films he's involved in are a function of profitability and none of your business. Get help, Stanley. Get into a program, get a therapist, get a dog. But whatever you do, stay away from my child. Our child. She's our child. She will never be your child. Forget Holly. Still doing here. Look, I'm beginning to lose my sense of humor about all this. Okay, then I'll cut to the chase. If you want a chance in hell at getting your daughter back, you better listen up. Unless, of course, you want to stay here in this loser existence while your daughter grows up to be a fluffer in her new daddy videos. With the courtesy of not confusing your own childhood with my daughter's. And look at your situation, Stanley. For the past, what, 20 months? You've been in and out of court six times. Each time, your case was thrown out. The situation doesn't look good, sweetheart. How much money do you think it would cost to hire the best family lawyer in the country to help you get your kid back? A lot. Come here. Come here. Judas. To get you started. Hundred grand. What do you got to lose, Stan? He just wants to meet you. One time. You don't like the situation? Walk away. And that's it. What'd he say? Da hinten sitzt einer und übersetzt alles. Your client is one of nine 24 counts of electronic crimes in seven different countries. He has a Finnish passport. And Finland does not recognize these allegations as crimes. Your laws don't apply. Do you see a Finnish flag hanging on the wall, Ikea boy? What'd he say? He said Ikea is Swedish. <laughs> he understands English. Huh? Joe, let me talk to him for a minute. He's all yours. Fucked up now, Hamlet. See, the thing is, they had you put the furniture together yourself. Hey, my client has repeatedly reserved this right oh, yeah, not to yeah. answer any Look, questions. I'm just curious. Why would the number one hacker in the world risk life imprisonment by coming into the continental U.S.? He cannot survive it, Mr. Parson. Okay, what did he just say? He said he never misses an episode of Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> did he really say that? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> How much do you weigh? How much do I weigh? Yeah. No, no. No, no. No. We'll call you for this moment, man. Eat a dick. Idiot! Wipe that smile off your face.
Until about a year ago, I was head of the largest cyber criminal task force in the world. But I burned out. I snapped. I shot a suspect in the hand. Do you know how difficult it is to work a keyboard with one fucking hand? You don't understand. Whatever you want to do to me, you will do worse. I'm already dead. The only way I have a chance is back in Europe. My friend's there. Will you tell me what I want to know? I'll make sure you're on the first thing smoking. First class. Courtesy of the U.S. government. Who is he? I don't know his name. You work for the guy. You don't know his name. Tell me something. I'll tell you what I know. He exists in a world beyond your world. <laughs> What we only fantasize, he does. He lives a life where nothing is beyond him. But you know what? It's all a facade. For all his charm and charisma, his wealth, his expensive toys, he is a driven, unflinching, calculating machine he takes what he wants when he wants and disappears so how do i find him you don't find him he finds you here's how it works his people pick me up they take me to him then he tells me what he wants me to do i do the job right there I get paid and I leave. You know, that's a really nice story, but you haven't told me shit, have you? Excuse me, sir. You have a call. Take a message. It's uh, Assistant Director Joy. But it's important. I can only tell you what I've done for him so far. Well, that's the start. Thank you. You've just let my client go free. He denied his right to counsel, assault and battery. Excuse me. Jan, you ain't the dick. What do you need, Alice, now? It's good, thank you. Yes, I got a call from uh, A.D. Joy. This is Roberts. Hold for just one moment, sir. So I can see nichts mehr. Ja? Ich kriege sie hier raus und zurück nach Europa. Wir wetten, dass die beiden Affen noch ein wenig schwingen. Yeah, Roberts, you needed me. You didn't call me. No, I didn't call you, Roberts. What do you want? Let me buy you a suit, Stan. I'm happy with what I'm wearing, thank you. 
Stan, my suit. Thanks. Now they say it's the clothes that make the man. You buy it? Hope not. Drink. Look, I uh, flew 1,500 miles for this meeting. How about we get to the point? No. Actually, you flew 1,500 miles for 100 grand. But that's not the point. Helga, meet Stanley. Hello, Stanley. Helga. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of patience, Gabriel. Well, maybe you can help me with something, Stanley. Take a look at this. What do you think? You know I can't touch that. Do you like tequila, Stanley? Look, you want something from me, and I want something from you. DOD, D base, 128 bit encryption. What do you think? Impossible? Well, nothing's impossible. Good. So it can be done? Can you slide in a Trojan horse hiding a worm? Something like that. Is this an interview? Sort of. Marco, let's give him some incentive. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Relax, Stanley. Crackers in the world can do this in 60 minutes. Unfortunately, I need someone who can do it in 60 seconds. You're kidding. Afraid not. Go! Get up, get up, get up! 55. Get on with it. What the hell is this? Time's a wasting, big guy. Good, isn't she? More time, more time. Come on, Stan. Twenty. Nineteen. Fucking with you, Stan. I really want to help you, Stan. You want to help me like you helped me in there? 
That was a test, Stan. A test? And you passed. I don't know why I let you talk me into this. I can't believe how desperate I am. I thought you were saving your daughter, Stan. Like, look. I'd do anything to get Holly back, but if I end up in a box or back in jail, then I really can't help her, can I? So, what I'm gonna do is take my money and go back to court. Oh, yeah? Back to court? With your little hundred thousand dollars? If you throw a hundred at Melissa, she'll throw five back at you. Think, Stanley. Well, what I'm thinking about is the fact you're willing to put a gun to my head just to see if I can hack into... Let me break it down to you, Stanley, one last time. You live in a trailer. You're a felon. You work a dead-end job. And you desperately want to get your daughter back. Gabriel is your only shot to get her. Look, I've got some concerns about our new friend. Oh, now, don't be jealous. I just don't see him dragging his sore ass across the finishing line. Stan! I thought we lost you. Tell me what the deal is. Well, the deal is that we're having a little gathering at the house, and uh, why don't you come, and I'll explain it to you there. Come on. Gentlemen, if it's not good news, I don't even want to hear it. Actually, we have a small ray of hope in the vast darkness, which is your life, sir. Check this out. When we grabbed Torvalds at the airport, these two guys were there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Recognize those two same guys a few hours later. And then, guess who shows up? Stanley, Stanley Jobson. Wired Magazine's 1996 Man of the Year. Pretty much a burnout now, but he was the hacker zeitgeist of his day. Yeah, I know Jobson. I arrested him. Why are you in L.A., Stan? His ex-wife lives out in Malibu with her 10-year-old daughter. The new husband owns Backdoor Films. It's a shady porn production house out in Chatsworth. You know, they have pretty good production value considering that, you know, they have to shoot on video. Did you know he uses his wife in a couple of the videos? No, I know, I know, I know. She's like an actress. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Are you done? Who's the girl? Oh, um, well, actually, sir, we don't know yet. She's a serious piece of talent. <laughs> Man, she's way out of his league. <laughs> Find out who she is. And I want to sit on the ex-wife's house. You got it. Sam, want to get wet? No, I don't have a suit. You don't need one. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Later. Some of you. Let's get a drink. Cool lights on. So how did you do it? Do what? Break the code. You used a logic bomb, dropped it through the trap door. No, you didn't. You didn't have time. What do you have? Scotch. Come on. You can do better than that. I used a password snow. Uh-uh. How did you do it? Look, I don't know exactly. I just uh, see the code in my head. I can't explain. Let me show you something. Impressive, huh? So what we need from you, Stanley, is a worm. A hydra, actually. A multi-headed worm to sniff out digital footprints across an encrypted network. What kind of cipher? A Vernum encryption. Vernum's key code is destroyed upon implementation, not to mention being a true 128-bit encryption. Well, actually, we're talking a 512-bit. It's definitely not possible. What if I were to tell you I'd give you $10 million? That would pretty much cover all your problems, yes? 
Unless, of course, it's not possible. But uh, you think about it. Just a multi screen system. It has a DS3 connection which allows us to access seven different networks simultaneously. It has a central encryption that you would have to crack in order to utilize the system. Give it a try. I don't know, it's gonna be pretty hard without a gun to my head. Well, maybe I should put a gun to your head. So, is it impossible? Nothing's impossible. Good. So we have a deal. In the afternoon? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, can I borrow your car for uh, something I need to do? Sure. There you go. Thank you. Oh. Hey, uh, Dan. Yeah. If uh, you're going to see Holly, I suggest you reevaluate the way you look. Just a thought. Just a thought. Long late again? Um, she'll be here in a minute. Okay. Hi. Um, can I have the phone number for a yellow cab? Need a lift? Daddy! Hey. Oh, hey. what are you doing here? Ah. Here, I brought you something. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> if Mom finds out you're here, she's gonna have you thrown back in jail. It's okay, baby, it's okay. You wanna lift home? Of course I do. Give me here. Oh, right. Whoa. <laughs> you are heavy. Nice car. Hey, thanks. Is that Mommy's car, she home? So listen to me. I found a way.
way for us to be together. I don't want anything else to happen to you, Dad. Yeah, but it's gonna be fine. Sweetheart. Friend of a friend. What were you running for, man? You arresting me? What? For violating parole by leaving Texas without permission? Huh? Or for evading a federal officer and almost getting me fucking killed in the process? No, I'm not arresting you. Then why are we talking? What are you doing in L.A., Stan? Vacationing. Vacationing. I didn't know the judge had lifted the sanction preventing you from seeing your daughter. Fuck you. Fuck no. Fuck you. You just want to cut through all the pleasantries, get right down to it, huh? Okay, fine. I can help you with your daughter, Stanley. <laughs> you help me, I'll help you. You know, you'll have to forgive me the fact that, uh, you know, you put me in jail for 18 months doesn't inspire a lot of trust. You hacked into the FBI carnivore program. You dropped in a virus. You set it back two years. We're reading every ISP subscriber's email in the U.S. It was Stanley, illegal. I, I did what shit. every federal judge would I don't give a shit. Do. You broke the law, okay? Well, we were both doing what we had to do. And the carnivore program is back in full swing. This was a nice trip down memory lane, but if you're not arresting me... <laughs> Not getting a lot of cooperation here, man. You know, I ran into your friend Axel Torvalds the other day. 
He was vacationing, too. What are the odds of the two best hackers in the entire world being in L.A. at the same time, Sam? I'm just a sucker for Disneyland. We done? Good. Tell Torvalds I said hello. You can tell him yourself if you're not careful. He's dead. Give me a card. You think anything you want to tell me, call me. Sorry about your nose. Stan, you're in way over your head. I know. You want me to keep an eye on him? Yeah, set it up. Shitty day so far, but it looks like it just got worse. You either shoot me or tell me why you're wearing that wire. Can't do that. Who are you, Ginger? Kill me if he finds out. Well, that's not my problem, is it? You're asking for a lot of faith here, Ginge, without giving me any. You brought me into this mess. To know who's playing it. Who are you? Ginger? I'm deep in the day, Stanley. Holy shh. But it's not you we're after, it's Gabriel. So just give him the worm, take the money, and get the hell out of here. A friendly girl. <laughs> Come on, Stanley. Let's get a cup of coffee. Heard of Operation Swordfish? Nope. Well, then you'll appreciate the irony here. Triple espresso. Two. You okay? In the early 80s, the DEA set up a network of dummy corporations as a government front to launder drug money and gather evidence. <clears throat> the problem was that these companies started to make money, a lot of money. In 1986, when Operation Swordfish was terminated, there's almost $400 million in these DEA accounts. Money that just sort of disappeared. Thank you. <sighs> Didn't disappear. It sat there, earning interest. That was 15 years ago. Do you have any idea of how much money that is today? Nine and a half billion. This is a sweet deal. We go in over the phone lines, pop the firewall, drop in the Hydra, Sit back, wait for the money. Aren't you getting ahead of yourself? Before you can access the secure cluster, you need a bank on the backbone of the network. You know how long it'll take to find one? Not a problem. Look behind you.
You know, some of these fellows might be wearing Armani, but they definitely have the swagger of ex-military. Joe? Yeah, maybe bodyguards, but they look more like mercs to me. Sir, there's definitely something going on here. They've got two DS3 trucks going in there. That's serious damage. Thermal scopes indicate a huge heat load in the main living area. Could be mainframes. The house was listed by Celebrity Estates of Beverly Hills. It was leased two weeks ago by a blind corporation. No other info on them yet. Wait a minute, Joe. Blue shirt, pinstripe. Oh, yeah, that's him. That's our man right there. Ah, just in time to watch Stanley find our worm. Jerry College, I created the source code for the worm I've been using for years. In the basement, through a file room, is the only PDP-10 still active and on the internet. I don't know how many people know it. It's an ITS machine and kept online just for historical sake. So I hid my worm there where no one would ever think to look. Senator, we have a uh, problem. Senator, seems you have gotten yourself into a predicament. Is that right? And our follow. Well, download your file. Senator, you know where I got these damn pictures? From the deputy director of the FBI. He thought I might be interested. In all due respect, sir, do you think that there is any aspect of this operation that I am not fully aware of? We are aborting the operation. We take a vacation. A vacation? Have I ever failed you, sir? That's not really the point, is it? Well, it's my point. You're losing sight of our objective, sir. The risks are too great, but we'll regroup and seek alternative means of finance elsewhere. This operation is moving ahead. Everything is under control. Son, let's just say you've got a 200-pound Rottweiler. Now, he loves you. It's his job to protect you. But if he ever bites you even once, you gotta put him down. Never tell who he might bite next, you understand? Yes, I do understand, Senator. I think we got a team on the West Coast out of Fort MacArthur. Maybe they should pay our friend a little visit. Next. 
no, 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 yes. Yeah. Please, please. Fuck, well, I'm fucked. No, 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 fuck you. Shit, let's go fuck you, boy. I'm rusty, rusty. Oh. 50,000 watts of fucking. 50,000 watts of fucking. 50,000, 50,000, 50,000 watts of funkin'. Okay, the words of this guy is you. Eternal destruction. Quick, quick, quick. Thank you. Return. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on. Stan, you look like you've seen a ghost. We gotta talk. Let's take a drive. Why can't we talk here? Because we shouldn't. Have you ever heard of Harry Houdini? Well, he wasn't like today's magicians who are only interested in television ratings. He was an artist. He could make an elephant disappear in the middle of a theater filled with people. And do you know how he did that? Misdirection. What the fuck are you talking about? Misdirection. What the eyes see and the ears hear, the mind believes. Hmm. What's going on? We've got a tail. Hold on.
Get in the car. Well, I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what I'm involved in. Look, Stan, I like you. You're on my good side. But don't confuse kindness with weakness. You have 12 hours to get the Hydra, so get in the car. Stanley, are you okay? What do you think? I just saw that maniac murder eight people in the street. It was just fucking great. You can't leave, Stan. It's all gonna work out. You gotta trust me. Well, trust you? Yeah. Yesterday, I find out you're DEA. I got the feds crawling up my ass, and I don't know what the fuck is going on in this place. Well, if we don't find out who is working for us, we're gonna have to start this whole thing all over again. Well, that's not my problem. I really don't give a shit who he's working for. What about Holly? Do you give a shit about her? Finish the job, Stan. We'll get your daughter back. I promise. the great American outdoors. Yet I never understood the appeal of fly fishing, Jim. A little bit too much like masturbation for me without the payoff. This is a catch and release stream, isn't it? Yeah, I believe it is. <laughs> you gotta see the irony in that, Senator. The chairman of the Joint Subcommittee on Crime, fishing in a catch and release stream. How could you do it to me, Jim? After all we suffered, I've changed my identity so many times, I don't even know who I am anymore. How could you turn on me when we were so close to our goal? The FBI was watching you. You tried to kill me. You've misplaced your loyalty, Senator. You've sold out America. Patriotism does not have a four-year shelf life. But unfortunately, politicians do. I wonder what are you gonna do with that? Thomas Jefferson once shot a man on the White House lawn for treason. Now hold the phone here, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Yes. I'm calling from Crick's Creighton Grand Cayman to notify you that there's just been a transfer of 10 million US dollars into a new account in your name. As promised. Thanks. So, I'm done then. Soon. Awkwardly. I'm going to do something against my better judgment. I'm going to tell you who I am. Don't bother. I know who you are. Do you? I think that you think I'm a bank robber. The truth is that I'm just like you. Like me? Mm -hmm. No, because you're a murderer. That I am, and worse, much worse. But I do have ethics, rules to which I adhere. Look, I have no idea why the fuck you're telling me all this. Well, if you listen, then you will. You ask who those men were, and I'm gonna tell you. 
J. Edgar Hoover started a secret organization in the 1950s called Black Cell. This was to protect the freedoms of this country at all costs. I don't care about any of this. All I care about is my daughter. I'm talking about your daughter. I'm talking about you and your daughter and 200 million other Americans who take their freedoms for granted. I see. You don't understand what it takes to protect those freedoms. That's my job, Stanley. To protect your way of life. So you and your band of lunatics are really stealing all this money just to protect little old me. That's right, Stanley. Because wars cost money. War. Who are we at war with? Anyone who impinges on America's freedom. Terrorist states, Stanley. Someone must bring their war to them. They bomb a church, we bomb 10. They hijack a plane, we take out an airport. They execute American tourists, we tactically nuke an entire city. Our job is to make terrorism so horrific that it becomes unthinkable to attack Americans. They're not going in over the phone lines. They're going into the fucking bank. And you're coming with us. It'll all be over in 24 hours. You're a rich man, Stanley. Pretty soon you'll be on a yacht with your daughter, having a good life, eating bonbons, the American dream. And just think, in the end, you'll have done your small part in ensuring America's way of life. You're a hero, Stan. Don't worry, let him go. He'll be back. Okay, load them up. Let's move out. Go! Wait here. Hello? Melissa? Jesus! 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 Jesus!
decision. No, no, you did that. How many more people die is up to you. I want that plane on the runway in 25 minutes. Okay, he says he wants a plane on the runway in 25 minutes. My suggestion, sir, you give it to him. Wants a plane, I'll give him a goddamn plane. Stanley, finish the job. Up until I see my daughter. You want to see your daughter? Get him his daughter. Dad? Oh, Jesus. Oh, babe. Are you okay? It's okay. It's okay. You really think that I wanted her to come to this, did you? I told you that I will sacrifice as many lives as I have to to protect this country, including my own. Dad. You let her go. And I'll get you your money. You finish the job and you both go. Come on, Stanley. I need the disc. This How do you want it allocated? Spread it evenly over the accounts. Come on, come on. Done. Give me my daughter. Verify this. Good. Get her! job. See you around. I doubt it. What's happening? What's happening? The money is gone. Stop her! Go! Run! 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 Go! Scrambled the internal clock. No, it didn't. You fucked me. You kill me and you'll never get a single dollar. The money jumps every 60 seconds from one numbered account to another. And it's gonna do so for the next 10 years. Of course, it wasn't supposed to happen for another six hours, but hey. Fix it. Well, unfortunately, I can't. The accounts are encrypted with a 1,024-bit cipher. Even I can't break through the firewall. So here's the deal. You let the hostages go, and I'll tell you where and when you can extract the money. We all walk away. Nobody gets hurt. Deal. I'm thinking. No deal. Get Ginger. Bring her up. Stop. No, don't do this. No, don't do this. No. Wonder how long she'll live, Stan. What can I say? I say 60 seconds. 55. Okay, okay. Hope you built in the back door. Dying, Stanley. Shut the fuck up! Ten. 
nine, eight, counts and counts. That's it. Three, two, okay, there it is, there it is, let's go, get it down, get it down. Check, verify. Trigger down. People, let's move, all of you. Come on. Quickly and quietly. Go, go. Come on. Move it. Move it. Come on, people. Up, up, up. Go. Move. Move. No one wants a repeat of what happened this morning. Keep your distance and clear the airspace for five miles. Move. Launcher was a suppository. Would that bad man stick it up my ass? Well, you eyeball me once more, boy, and I'll stick it so far up your ass, you'll be begging me for this bullet. Ladies and gentlemen, this bus is your new holding area. Do not test the limitations of your collars. This will all be over before you can say cat in a hat. Justify all this. Not looking at the big picture, Stan. Here's a scenario. You have the power to cure all the world's diseases, but the price for this is that you must kill a single innocent child. Could you kill that child, Stanley? Nope. You disappoint me. It's the greatest good. Well, how about ten innocents? Now you're getting it. How about a hundred? How about a thousand? Not to save the world, but to preserve our way of life. No man has a right to make that decision. You're no different from any other terrorist. You're wrong, Stanley. Thousands die every day for no reason at all. Where's your bleeding heart for them? You give your $20 to Greenpeace every year thinking you're changing the world? What countries will harbor terrorists when they realize the consequences of what I'll do? Did you know that I can buy nuclear warheads in Minsk for 40 million each? Hell, I buy half a dozen, I even get a discount. Advise Eddie Joy that we're about 20 minutes into the airport. Uh, Control, please let Eddie Joy know we're about 20 minutes from the airport. Ready? Sir Bird's all fueled up, ready to go. What about your pilot? He's in the works now. All right, let's do it. Okay, guys. Need a team over here? Sugar Land 
Sonic Express? Didn't like the way it ended. Look, pull this over before you get... across the tarmac in case anything goes wrong. Right. Excuse right. me, sir. I've just been informed the, the bus is no longer en route to LAX. What happened? Apparently it broke through the lead vehicles and turned onto First Street heading into the city. All right, let's go to First Street. Well, sir, the bus is no longer on First Street. Then where is it? Airborne. around this building, okay? Nick, come here, I want everybody out of this lobby right now. Get them out of here. Okay. Secure these elevators, the stairwells. Anybody coming out in the detainer? Whoa, 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 what's going on? We're going to the roof. Where are those elevators? They're up there, what's this about? Is there a freight elevator in the building? The rear of the building through those doors. That way, guys. See you around sometime. Oh, no, no. It's not gonna end like this. Ah, oh, come on, Stan. Not everything ends the way you think it should. Besides, audiences love happy endings.
gentlemen, you here to identify the body. These dentals exactly match the dentals the Israeli government sent us for an ex-Mossad agent named Gabriel Shear. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. The DEA has no record of any Ginger Knowles working for them. And I checked all the hospitals and morgues and I still can't find her body. Well, look again. I mean, bodies just don't disappear. Right. He could make an elephant disappear in the middle of a theater filled with people. And do you know how he did that? Misdirection. DEA, Stanley. Give him the worm, take the money, and get the hell out of here. With the eyes see and the ears hear, the mind believes. Misdirection, Stan. Get out of here. Go see your daughter. Yeah, thanks. Keep me in touch. You son of a bitch. Thank you. How much are you done? Yes, I'm full. Let's go. So, navigator, where's our next stop? Hallbrook. Hallbrook? So, what's in Hallbrook? The petrified forest, Dad. Petrified forest? Yeah. I think you take the I 40 down to the 180. Cool. Alrighty. Are you okay, Dad? Yeah, I'm fine, sweetheart. I know, honey. Hello? I would like to transfer money from my employer's account. May I have your account number and password, please? 356-127-G, password, swordfish. How much would you like to transfer? All of it, evenly over these accounts. In international news, suspected terrorist Alal bin Hazad was believed to be among the victims killed today in an unexplained explosion aboard a yacht in the Mediterranean. The elusive bin Hazad, long sought by authorities, was considered responsible for the American embassy bombing in Istanbul earlier this month. This is the third killing of a major terrorist leader in as many weeks. This was such a long load, so take it all right. You can when it's low, 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 and taste it all right. Sit quite still and the swordfish calm. Not so lonely.